Rebel Without a Cause. James Dean is such an iconic actor, and this is really the film that made him an icon. The director, Nicholas Ray, captures the essence of what it's like to be a teenager in this film. I love the fact that Los Angeles of 1955 is a very important character in this film. Yes. You had a good start in the wrong direction back there. Why'd you do it? What do you mean? Mess a kid up? Yeah. Called me chicken. And your folks didn't understand? They never knew. Our next film is Rebel Without a Cause from 1955, made about 20 years before you were born, actually. Exactly 20 years. Yes, but you relate to it as well, right? I think this is the ultimate in teenage, you know, film. I, I think it um, completely holds up. It's an incredibly sexy ride. I think it taps into something very real and tumultuous uh, with family. I think it captures this amazing time at a very specific age. And it's just always been, most of my life, one of my favorite films. It's also such a timeless thing because it's about bullying in school, which is something that now has reached new heights, I guess, in this country, uh, maybe all over the world, but also the frustrations of being a teenager. I mean, it's, I think no matter when you're born, you know, it's frustrating being a teenager. It's not an easy time. I think it tells that so well. Yes, it started as this, you know, potentially teenager B movie genre film and it just it just leaves the gate and it just transcends into something completely different mm -hmm. and it really is um, completely modern uh, and and just so relevant and it really is one of those timeless classics. Yes and James Dean I think is so supreme in this film and also it's an essential film I think because of James Dean being in it because he is so famous he only made three feature-length films and it kind of explains what James Dean was all about. Every time you can't face yourself you blame it on me. That is not true. You say it's because of me you say it's because of the neighborhood. No. You use every other phony excuse. Mom I just once I want to do something right. And I don't want you to run away from me again. He was so beautiful and, 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 and the most handsome and attractive man, and yet he had this vulnerability about him, um, which was maybe different than some other you know, male stars right. before him. And I can't imagine what it was like for audiences to see this film at a time where they probably felt they had you know, the most important actor, the most beautiful gentleman, uh, the royalty of the silver screen, and he passed away a month before the film came yeah, out. Yeah, because they'd all seen him in East of Eden, where he's another tortured teenager having problems with his family and everything like that. And then, uh, you know, they're all anticipating seeing him in this movie. And then when they do see it, he's dead. You know, it was like hysteria everywhere. And also, uh, it's the casting is very interesting because Jim Backus, the place the father, was known as a comedian. He was the voice of Mr. Magoo, you know, and to see him all of a sudden playing this weak, destroyed father, it was kind of amazing. Yeah. And also, you get that great chance to see Dennis Hopper as a kid, oh. and Corey Allen, who was a wonderful actor, and Natalie Wood when she was a teenager, Sal Mineo, all these young, beginning actors. Yes. There was an honesty, a chemistry, a grappling with that you see these young people going through in this movie that just feels so real and it's so beautifully captured. Yep, absolutely. Well, here's the movie, the one made James Dean a worldwide icon. The Warner Brothers in 1955, Rebel Without a Cause. <laughs> It's an amazing film. You know, James Dean only starred in three films. Do you think he would have had a, uh, uh, an enduring career as he got older? I think he just embodied in every single way the creative spirit, and he was the most handsome gentleman and the most talented and, and just the most soulful person. I think everybody wishes that he would have um, remained. I think it was the 50th anniversary of his death. They brought out a DVD of all of his television performances, or as many as they had. And I had always, you know, I always thought he was powerful in the three movies that he made, but I was never sure how versatile he was till I saw these. And as a young kid, 
in many of the television shows, he played parts that were not angst-driven teenagers or anything like that, and he was just terrific. I mean, he had a range that you would never really know from seeing East of Eden and Rebel Without a Cause and Giant, you know, because he's kind of shuffling, shuffling around in all of those a bit with a lot of angst. And he could have been, I think, a really important actor for many years to come. I would suspect that he could do anything. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking so much about our love of black and white mm -hmm. um, in, in our uh, time of the essentials. And this is a film that I feel the opposite yeah, I about. Do too. I, I can't even imagine what it would be in black and white. Uh, just him, James Dean in full color, his red jacket, his iconic red jacket. I don't think I ever see a red jacket and not think of James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause. Yeah, and because it's set in California. You know, and I must say that California has shown off very interestingly in this movie. Beautiful. The planetarium and everything around Los Angeles that they show. Yeah, the hills, the homes, the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the cars, uh, I just think L.A., yeah, absolutely. Becomes a star in the movie. It does. Well, let's move on. Here's a sneak preview of the film we have for you next week on The Essentials. The way we were. The basic theme of this film has such an impact, the way they tell the story. These characters are who they are. They're unbreakable. There's a great oil and water mix with Streisand and Redford. This film is about love, and it's heartbreaking. From 1973, the way we were. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials.